Yep, that's me on the brand new M4 Mac Mini trying to survive the chaotic streets of Night City in Cyberpunk 2077. Am I crazy? Maybe. But hey, this is 2024 and gaming on a Mac is no longer just a meme. Yo, I remember when Cyberpunk was announced. It was one of the most hyped games in gaming history. Unfortunately, when it was released, it was so bad that Sony had to take it out of the Play Store because it wasn't working on the PS4 or is even the PS4 Pro. Even PC players had performance issues. But after many years of patches and updates, especially with Phantom Liberty, it's now in a place where it's considered as one of the best games of all time. However, can it deliver the same magic on the M4 Mac Mini? Let's find out. So Cyberpunk 2077 is an adrenaline packed blend of RPG mechanics, breathtaking visuals, and Keanu Reeves. I mean, what more would you want? It's also a game about choices, consequences, and living out your sci-fi dreams in a dystopian world. Look, I'm no netrunner or I'm not even close to a cyber ninja or whatever, but after many, many hours of creative work, I just want to sit down and immerse myself into a game I know that will fulfill me and everything that I'm looking for. Hence why I play this a lot of the time. So look at this, look at this right here, zooming into this part of the video. This is why Max with the new Apple Silicon running Windows games through apps like Crossover is very dope. It's gaming without building a bulky PC tower. It's like a cheat code. Don't tell anyone. Getting Cyberpunk to run on the M4 Mac Mini isn't as hard as you think. Thanks to Crossover, the setup is surprisingly smooth. You might encounter a couple of hiccups because, you know, emulations aren't exactly perfect, but nothing a quick Google search won't fix. Now let's get into the juicy part. How does it actually play? On low settings, it is surprisingly smooth, hovering around 30 to 40 frames per second, which isn't bad for a base model Mac Mini. On medium settings, it's still pretty good, but it begins to sweat just a little bit, and we're seeing dips between 20 to 25 frames per second, but it is still playable. On high settings, this is where Night City starts looking a bit laggy, or you get stutters every now and then. Beautiful, but not exactly the most functional. On high settings, I wouldn't exactly recommend you playing this, especially if you really want to immerse yourself and enjoy your time playing Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so, ooh, I had to get my juice, you know? So Cyberpunk, or playing Cyberpunk 2077 on the M4 Mac Mini isn't exactly the most perfect experience. It is playable and that's the most important thing. It's not about frames per second or the resolution or whatnot, it's about experiencing Night City in all its glory. So if you're using an M4 Mac Mini or you even have the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air and you wanna dip into casual gaming, why not give it a shot? And hey, if the Mac Mini or the MacBook or whatever can handle Night City, what other adventures can it unlock? I'll catch you guys in the next one.